All right, guys, we're out at Fitfocker today in Brighton, Colorado. Shout out to them for having us out and building this bitchin' obstacle training area. But we're doing another Technique Tuesday. And with OCRWC coming up, we're gonna start talking about some of my favorite obstacles from that event, starting with the Gibbons. Take these floating little monkey bar sticks, you place them in the holsters, and you have to swing and bring the monkey bars with you, which is kind of unique here. We have floating elements, which makes it a lot of fun. But this is very difficult if you've never faced it before, and if you haven't done the correct training, and if you don't have the right technique. So we're gonna go over strength first, and then we'll go over approach right after that. Right here, placing is tough but the thing that i see most people struggle with is actually the act of swinging with all of their weight on this spinning rotating grip it's pretty tough and the best way to train for that is in your pull-up routine you need to start over gripping on the bar i've talked about this before you need to practice doing your pull-ups with a closed wrist just like that your wrist is closed you're strong your grip is engaged as soon as the wrist breaks now you're trying to pinch grip onto this dowel to try to keep yourself up. So leading into this event, you need to have this kind of grip. I mentioned that in my eight week guide. If you got it, then you're doing well. Pull ups, like so. Keeping that wrist nice and flexed. That will give you the strength to complete this obstacle. Now, let's talk technique. All right, two main points here. One, swing. Two, eyes. The swing, is going to give you control and it's gonna give you reach. A lot of people don't swing enough and they do this struggle reach, this panic fish flop that they try to slam the dowel into the next hold, never works out. Secondly, we need to work on the eyes. The eyes are going to help us plan our next move to get the dowel in position going into the next given hold. You wanna have the dowel in position before you even start your swing. As soon as you release the dowel from the previous given, you wanna have it in position for wherever the next given hold is set to. They rotate, they pivot. Everyone's gonna be in a different position. You need to plan ahead. And your swing is going to allow you to have a little extra time to set the dowel in the perfect spot. Drop it right in, nice and easy. All right, so watch how much swing I give myself. I'm gonna do the short grip, the, the short distance. I can skip, but I'm gonna do the short distance just to show you. But give yourself enough swing and watch my hand position as I come around. How early I set my hand to the position that I'm gonna reach with. With that extra swing, you have so much time to set. Normally you'd be able to reach a foot past the grip, but when you swing up, you have time to think about it, make your adjustments, and then place. Works. 